Hey guys, it's me Sam. Sorry about that. I just need to slip with me caffeine intake for the day. I need it. I've been at work all day and I'm pretty much done even as it is. Uh, I don't know if you've seen my January Empties blog, but this is now my January favourites, as you can see from the title of this video. And it would also explain why I'm wearing the same clothes. And not that I'm a tramp and I wear the same clothes consecutively day in, day out. Okay, so as I said, Doing my January favourite, so as usual, there will be 15 things that I've liked throughout the month of January that I would like to discuss and share with you. And let's begin with number one, and that is what was my favourite nail varnish to use in January, and it is this gorgeous pinky beige shade on Nail Sync. Uh, it came part of a set, here's the set in question. And uh, just to show you what it looks like inside, it comes with a nail file and three nail varnishes, including this one. And it's also got a top coat here. And I have to admit, I love these nail varnishes. It was a part of a Christmas present I had. And um, the quality of these nail varnishes are absolutely brilliant. And the quality is just awesome because they last all week without any chipping whatsoever. Now the reason why I liked this shade so much is because it's very discreet and it's a classy kind of shade. Absolutely ideal for wearing in the office unless, unlike this shade, which you can see, which is very dark and got the key. And how I've got to wear this, I don't know. And it's also another nail varnish from the nail sink set. It's it's this one here. Fortunately, they don't come with any, like names or shades or anything like that. So yeah, as I said, dark burgundy ready, dark coffee, yeah, this dark. But that was my favourite to use. Such a comparison as you can see. And I would definitely recommend you try now sync if you haven't. Okay, at number two we have what was my favourite hair product and it is this hairspray from the company whose name I can never pronounce correctly, Swarscoff. And it's a got to be glued hairspray. This stuff is just brilliant. I normally pay around the range of £2.99 for it, though sometimes it can be more expensive. But to be perfectly honest, for the quality that you're getting, it's definitely worth the money. This is basically my staple hairspray. I can't, cannot, and I will not use anything else but this, because this literally glues your hair in place and it doesn't budge all day. I bum it. And number three, what was my favourite handbag? And it is this gorgeous green handbag here. I suppose it's class coming over like that, that's better. I have no idea originally where it came from, but I found it in the charity shop for the grand total price of £3. And I just fell in love with the colour immediately. And I've used it quite a lot for the month of January because I've worn a lot of green and I like to match because I like to colour coordinate, as you guys know. And um, obviously I was using it as well at the same time when I wasn't like to carry much stuff to and from work, which I've been having to do a lot of lately. I love the fact it's got loads of different little pockets for me to keep my little things in. Right at number four, what were my favourite shoes to wear in January? And it was these heels that I've got and I've had for so long, I can't even remember where I bought them from. I I like, I like I bought them many, many years ago and then because of my Achilles, I didn't wear heels for a long, long time. So I was scared I was gonna snap it. Now I've come to accept that if my Achilles is gonna go, it's gonna go and it doesn't matter whether I'm wearing heels or not, it will just go. And I've had no issues with it for a while. If anything, I'm more bothered about what's going on with my knees at the moment. But yeah, um, I, as I said, I'd hardly ever worn them, and then uh, I made a point of wearing these to the office one day because I was wearing this outfit, and it kind of like completed the look, and it just it just showed me I could wear heels. I just wouldn't be able to walk in them very far, obviously, as I found out that day when the boss decided to drag me to Morrison's, um, teetering around the Morrison's with these. Weren't much much fun, especially I'm trying to keep up with him because he's quite tall, so he's got extremely long legs. Um, yeah, not good guys, running around in heels, it's never a good thing, but yeah, these were my favourite shoes, as you can see, very pretty, kind of classy, and yeah. And number five, what was my favourite accessory, and it is this scarf hair, which as you can see, is black 
with white skulls on it. And the reason why I like this so much is because it kind of like reminds me of my goth days. Sometimes the goth in me likes to come out and play. It's as simple as that. And I normally like to accompany this with my black biker jacket that I've got as well. Kind of, it kind of like completes the whole look of what I'm wearing. In fact, I actually wore it today without the scarf for some reason, which was stupid because it was bloody cold this morning. Um, but yeah, I absolutely adore this. It was originally Jessica's, but I've stolen it off her. But she doesn't seem to mind. So it's all good in the end. At number six, what was my favourite clothing item? And it is this long grey cardigan that, once again, I have no idea where it came from because it was originally Jessica's. And once again, I stole it off her. I love it. It's brilliant. It's like, I let you do it up. It's like really weird because it sits like halfway up. So it comes up like that. And it's just absolutely perfect. It's like ideal for days when it's it's not freezing, but it's still not warm enough to go out in the morning with that coat on. So I like chucking this on over the top. I don't know if you guys can see. There you go. Give you a better idea of how it looks. It's not that like, really long. I like the, the cut of it. And yes, the spanny on. Like, where are you? Where? With a face buried in the way dead because for some reason she looks just freezing cold. Um, so yeah, I, I liked wearing this throughout January. And number seven, what was my favourite foundation? It's this one from Maybelline, it's their Better Skin Foundation in the shade Ivory. I paid absolutely nothing for this because Jessica actually bought it and she didn't like it, so she gave it to me. I like the way that it actually sits pot on my face all day and doesn't budge. And uh for that reason, I'd say the quality is pretty decent. Decent enough for me to go, I recommend this foundation. Please do try it. At number eight, what was my favourite brush? And I have to say, guys, this month, well, we should say in the month of January, I didn't actually have one because I was uh, literally using a different variety of ones every single day, depending on the look I was having or what I was they wearing. Sometimes I'll go for a nice light pink shade or peachy shade. And there's other times where... I'll contour my cheeks and with a little bit of blush, you know, that, just different kind of ways and I can't actually say I've got one. At number nine, what was my favourite lip product? And it is this lip pencil from Maybelline. It is their Color Drama Intense Velvet Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Light Me Up. As you can see from the end, it is a gorgeous red shade. That is what it looks like. It's a bit of a mess, I know. This stuff's bloody brilliant, basically, guys. And, and the lasting power is pretty, pretty decent, you know. I think I paid about £5 for it from my local Morrisons. And I just absolutely love the colour. Despite the fact that I'm now in my 40s, in my opinion, I can still rock red lips. I don't care what they say. Once you reach the age of 40, you shouldn't wear red lipstick or anything like that. Because, obviously, yes, your lips are getting thinner and whatnot. But I don't care. Until the day I die, I will wear red and no one's going to stop me. At number 10, what was my favourite mascara? And it has been my good old fable Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Now, I took a break from this for a while because I wanted to get through some other mascaras that I've got. Uh, but I kind of found myself using this in most days of January. I can't help myself. It's just the best mascara in the world. I love it. And number 11, what was my favourite body product? And it is by Saint Tropez. Saint Tropez tan optimizer now i know i know i know i'm only meant to use the stuff before i apply a tan to my skin but screw that this stuff's just pretty lush I, I will use it when i want to um i love it i love the scent i love how it leaves my skin feeling all smooth and clean and i have to admit i didn't buy it jessica actually found it in poundland so she grabbed herself one and she grabbed me one too and i'm so glad she did because the stuff's just bloody brilliant and number 12 what's my favorite perfume or body spray to use throughout the month of january and it is this it is my jimmy Choo blossom perfume uh, this comes as part of a set here is the set in question absolutely gorgeous gorgeous packaging look it's all pink and glittery so not me i don't know what, i don't know what possesses me sometimes but sometimes i just can't help it i just see pink and glitter and i must have it so um yeah as i was saying it was part of a set as you can see inside it comes with a body lotion that smells just as beautiful as the perfume 
as I've already mentioned, I love the packaging and um, the scent of this perfume is just simply delightful and I love the packaging of the bottle itself can't really say much about the lotion nothing fantastic going on there if I were to scream in pink so you can't really make too much as I was saying about the scent, it's a, it's a floral fragrance with top notes of red berries blended with a citrus cocktail and not only that but sweet pea and rose complements its rich and sensual base notes of white musk and sandalwood. All I know is this stuff smells the tits. At 13, what was my favourite face product to use in January? And it is my Garnier Lip Mister Water. And all I'm going to say about this stuff is, why didn't I discover it before I did? At number 14, what was my favourite bubble bath or shower gel to use and I have to say guys I haven't actually got one this month now if you've already seen my January empties vlog you would have heard me mention the fact that we've been trying to use it, what's been knocking around in the bathroom and if you haven't seen that vlog please go and watch it after you finish with this one and finally at number 15 we have what was my food, favourite of food or drink and it is baked potatoes Oh my god, they rule. Now that I have a microwave back in my life, they have literally become the most easiest thing to cook in the world. Literally, beforehand, it would take in about an hour or even longer to cook a baked potato in the oven. Now it literally takes eight minutes in the microwave. And, and, and boom, you've got something to eat. If you've got some beans, you can go on top. Or if you like me, I like to use a bit of cheese, co cheese and coleslaw. Or if I've got some chilli, pack it together with a baked potato and always good in my life it's got to the point i've actually started taking them to work with me kind of like part cook them as well i'm taking like i said top in and then i'll take it to work and cook it properly in the microwave there but it's just ideal simple meal that anyone can do can't go wrong and um mm, yum and there we have it guys that is my january favorite done thank you very much for taking the time to watch it and i said body my have already said and I don't think I did. I haven't apologised yet in this one, so I'm gonna do it now. I am so sorry I'm like doing it basically. I've been really, really snowed under with work. In fact I've been having to bring it home with me because really, really busy, hectic time. But it's also good because I'm learning new skills, I'm venturing more into sales, uh the, so I'm coming away from marketing, as I said. I'm going to do an update video at some point, so I'll be able to tell you a lot more about it in that one. But um, thank you so much for taking the time for watching me, guys. I do appreciate it. I know I don't come on as much as I used to. I do wish I could, but as I've already said, I'm just really busy. And I never thought I'd ever hear myself saying that, that I haven't got time for you guys, because I've always got time for you no matter what. Thank you anyway. Please do take care of yourselves. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up as well. And uh, I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.